Hey guys, so it's grocery haul time. I'm gonna show you everything that Sean just got home with and then update you on a couple other things after I show you this. Okay guys, so here it is. This is literally it for today. This is not all of our groceries though. Uh, again, I'll explain that in a minute. So let's start over here. Uh, he picked up, and, and Sean did do the shopping again today, but um, yeah, so he got a three pack of the Ready Whip, a thing of sour cream, thing of spinach dip, a uh, box of go that I asked him to pick up. We've got another pack of string cheese because I actually had those in today. One each of the Colby Jack and the Sharp Cheddar. Uh, pretty much everything is on a limit one, which makes it kind of difficult for a large family that will use, you know, a whole block between one to two meals. Um, so we'll see. Bag of shredded lettuce that uh, they actually had back in again. Uh, bag of mixed peppers. We actually have to go back and get another bag of those because this is not going to be enough for the meal uh, for nine of us. Bag of tater tots. We've got some cordon bleu stuffed chicken breasts and some broccoli cheddar or broccoli cheese chicken breasts. A lot of the meals that I've been making have more spices and stuff than is what's really good for Sean. And those are a little bit easier for him to eat. Uh, I think at this point, he's pretty much the only one who eats them. The older girls can a little bit, uh, but we try to keep them for him. Another thing of chicken nuggets, because we have a picky three-year-old and he doesn't always want everything else. And that's a safe alternative. Uh, another bag of the real crumbled bacon from Hormel. We love to add that to certain dishes. We've got a box of crescent rolls, two things of taco sauce that did not come from Sam's Club. So obviously <laughs> he could get more than one. Box of strawberries, blueberries, one thing of grapes, and one thing of the Johnsonville turkey sausages um, that I can eat. So those are nice to have um, as an option there. Come back up here. We've got some sour cream and onion and barbecue lays. Those are just chips to have on hand, something to add to meals right now. Case of bubbly for me underneath. Um, as I go through what we had previously bought, we're gonna keep trying to replace it because again, can't always find everything. A uh, bag of ruffles that we actually have to go get more for one of the meals I'm going to try to make this week. Uh, these, these are the fire roasted sweet corn chips. Weirdest chips ever and they are so delicious. I can't eat corn but loved corn on the cob when I was younger. So when we were introduced to those, just mind-blowing the flavor with absolutely no corn in them. So it's crazy. Uh thing of the power C is gummy vitamin C's that the kids usually take. A uh, thing of the gummy bites for the kids. And then he also found uh, the emergency gummies. Sometimes it can get be hard to get the little ones to drink a cup of emergency. So we're hoping that the gummies make that a little bit easier. So this is what we've got for the moment. Let me flip this and tell you about it. Okay guys, so here's the thing. While the market is starting to slow down just a little bit, not quite as crazy as it used to be. And by used to be, I mean like two weeks ago. Um, it seems that it is still absolutely insane. Um, since Sean works in the food industry, he gets to see this. He said the stores seem to be a little bit slower. I think the truth is people are doing more and more of the ordering online, like the drive through pickups and the delivery and stuff, because stuff is still wiped out. He said that chicken nugget box was the last box that they had. That little bit of groceries that you see here, $240. Guys, that is like virtually nothing and that will definitely not feed our family for the entire week. Um, so think prices are getting crazy. Uh, options are getting low. So many things that require more than one to feed our family. So he's going to be going to the store again tomorrow. And then I think this is our new norm. He's going to try to do as much of the list shopping as he can on Friday or Saturday. And then throughout the rest of the week, he's going to try to get the other things on the list. Um, it's just kind of insane right now. And it's really, it's really kind of gross. I would love to be able to go do the shopping myself. I really actually enjoy grocery shopping. Uh, I know what my meal plan is, which the meal plan is a whole other subject right now. I'm going to do a separate video on that for you guys to watch. Hopefully I can get that up tomorrow. So watch for that. Otherwise it'll be within a day or so after that. Um, but anyhow, so a lot of things we got to work with here. And he said that there were plenty of bell peppers, so he doesn't think it'll be a problem to get more tomorrow. But 
things disappear about that fast. So we'll see. Um, I'm trying not to get too discouraged. Really glad we got some of the stuff earlier on when we did, and we are picking up things as we can get them. Uh, Sam's Club had absolutely no meat. So our chickens, none of that. This will be two weeks in a row we couldn't get the chickens. Uh, thankfully, we had previously bought hamburger and stuff, because while those big tombs seem like a lot for a basic family, when there are nine of us, that stuff just doesn't go as far. And I am seeing some really disgusting things being said online about large families need to feed their kids less, uh, you know, wouldn't hurt some families to skip a meal. Uh, there's some really nasty things. So guys, do not be letting this get to you in that way. Look for the best in things and make the best of things. Okay, that's all we can really do. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this stuff put away and we're gonna formulate a meal plan based on what we've got. Uh, I am finding I cannot pre-write meals so much, so we're gonna, we're gonna work this out. It's all good though. Look for that in the meal planning video this week. Anyhow, in the meantime, during all of this craziness, I hope that you guys are having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you'll miss everything else coming up next. I'll see you in the next one.